Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Marketing and Communications Lead for W3C, Ian Jacobs. Good morning. Hello, everybody, and welcome to W3C's first ever developer conference. It's nice to see a bunch of familiar faces and especially lots of new faces. Uh, turns out I will be the MC for the day. Uh, just a couple of notes before we get started. Uh, we're streaming this show to the web, and as part of that, we'll be taking brief pauses in between speakers uh, so that they can cut the clips appropriately. So there'll be short 10 to 15 second pauses between speakers. Please bear with us for that. Um, one other note, uh, you'll see that you can follow us on uh, Twitter on hash W3Conf uh, if you would like. So um, it's great to see all of you. Uh, I, I wanted to also thank uh, the sponsors that are making this day possible, these two days possible, uh, Microsoft for helping put this all together, uh, also AT&T and Nokia and Adobe for sponsoring the conference. Um, also, many thanks to start off to the, to the 25 speakers or so who will be regaling you with cool web stuff for the next two days. And uh, especially you, thank you for coming to this event. Um, that is an extended you, also those who will be watching the video stream. Um, my talk will be about why you are important uh, to the W3C agenda and uh, to the future of the web. So uh, it, it really is, uh, to start off with, useful to understand why uh, your participation is important. W3C has been doing standards since the mid-1990s, and we've learned a lot in that time. So a few of the takeaways that I jotted down for this talk uh, are the following. First of all, you have to have the right people at the table. And uh, who the right people are also changes over time. In fact, sometimes it can change over a very short time frame. Uh, consensus building takes a lot of time. But you can't let it run on forever. You have to find the right balance between timeliness to market and fairness and I can't remember what the third one is. No. Timeliness to market <laughs> and, and, and quality. That was it. Quality. Energy. Uh, you, uh, you need a royalty-free patent policy. Tim Berners-Lee said that one of the reasons the web was successful, whereas other technologies at the same time weren't, is that it was available royalty-free right from the start. Um, so we have a royalty-free patent policy. And coming up with a royalty-free patent policy is also challenging. Uh, you need use cases uh, and real-world developer stories to drive the standards in the right direction. You need tests to ensure real interoperability on a broad scale and the proper deployment of the standards. And uh, you especially need developer buy-in, uh, because if the developers like the technology, uh, it will take off. So I think of CSS, for example, which has been around for a very long time. And the developers and designers uh, find it very powerful, and it ultimately took off. So uh, one other important takeaway is um, we do have a lot of room improvement at W3C on all of those topics that I mentioned. And that's where this conference and that's where you come in. So uh, for the past year, we've started a number of initiatives to try to improve uh, and increase participation, especially by the developer community in W3C. In January, we launched the HTML5 logo. I see Philippe is sporting the HTML5 logo on his t-shirt. Uh, we launched community groups in August, and I'll say more about that in a moment. We have uh, ramped up our validator service. Now there's a unified validator called Unicorn. Uh, we have a new testing effort underway. And uh, two weeks ago in Santa Clara, 500 people were at a, our annual TPAC. And there was lots of discussion about the importance of testing from telcos and the television industry. Um, we have some new online training. We have new materials for developers and, an inc and a growing uh, effort to increase useful documentation for developers and designers. So uh, just a quick word on community groups. Uh, people indicated that they uh, wanted to bring new work to W3C, so we made that easier to do. Community groups uh, are open to anybody. There's no cost. Anyone can start one. Uh, they're really designed for specifications. Uh, and so we have a royalty-free patent policy for community groups and a permissive copyright. 
Uh, you get infrastructure at W3C, wikis and blogs and mailing lists and so forth. But mostly you have access to an international community of people who are very passionate about the web, thousands of people. So if you want to socialize your new ideas, um, I encourage you to uh, bring them to a new community group or an existing community group. There are about 40 that started since August. Um, and maybe over the next couple of days, some of you will, in fact, uh, start new community groups based on these discussions. So uh, the, this conference, in that sense, is more than just a set of cool presentations. I'd like to think of it as a call for action to you to get more involved in W3C uh, in any of the aforementioned ways, whether it's starting a new community group, uh, contributing to documentation through the web education community group, uh, helping Philippe in the testing efforts at W3C for HTML5 and CSS and other technologies. Um, and if you have any other ideas, uh, I'll be around for the next two days and I welcome, as any of the staff would be uh, very happy to hear from you for the, your new ideas. So enjoy the conference. Um, I'd like to introduce you now to Tim Berners-Lee. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it in person, but we have a video from him uh, to welcome you. Thank you. Well, welcome. Welcome to this first W3Conf. And uh, it's such a shame that the timing worked out that I couldn't be there, uh, which is uh, kind of annoying for me uh, because, not because, just because it's the first one, but because I think it's going to be really interesting. Uh, there are lots of, lots of things happening over the next few days which I'd really like to, uh, like to be there for. So, um, so those who are there, or those who are there virtually, uh, have fun. Remember that for me, I suppose one of the most important things is keeping the web open. So how do you keep the web open? Well, when you develop stuff, you use open standards, whether you're on the server side or the client side. Um, there are lots and lots of exciting standards. Uh, here you can learn about the, the latest ones, you can learn how they're changing, you can learn about what's coming up and uh, learn how to make the best use of and do really exciting things. I think one of the great things about HTML5 is that with HTML5 and web apps, the whole web apps platform allows you to do things which were previously are only possible by writing a native app for a computer or for a portable device. So the rise of web apps as a single portable platform to, to f first thing is really, uh, really important and I think that uh, you should start as a developer if somebody comes to you and says, hey, can you write me a phone app? Uh, maybe you should come <laughs> back to them and say, well, are you sure you want a phone app? Uh, because the phone app will ha I'll have to write separately for each platform and, uh, and, uh, and so on, and it won't use necessarily use standards. And uh, if I write you a web app instead, then you'll be able to bookmark it. People, when they're using your app, they will be able to bookmark not just the app, but also places within the app. Uh, it'll be part of the universal discourse. Um, when you make a web app, do try to make web apps, by the way, where you can bookmark it. So in a well-designed web app, when you're inside it somewhere interesting, the URL bar at the top has got something which I can cut and paste and send to somebody. I can bookmark. Um, so that's a well-designed app, which is then, why is it that a good idea? Because it's part of the web, because you can link to it. If you can bookmark it, then you can send it to somebody else. If you send it to somebody else, they can review it, they can criticize it, they can agree with it or not. It's part of the big discussion, which is this mass of people who are using your applications all over the planet to do things socially, to do things together, to do things collaboratively. So I think that's really important. So you could try and uh, if somebody asks you to make a non-web app, go on to push back and say, hey, how about a web app? And you'll see, I hope at this conference, how the APIs are blossoming, that the web app platform is getting uh, all the time more and more powerful. So that bit by bit, everything that you can do on a desktop app or on a, uh, a portable device app, you'll be able to do in web apps. So that's, I think that's very exciting. I think that the whole point about it is that uh, the exciting thing for me is the creativity which you then put into it. So as you talk about and discuss the possibilities of this platform, um, 
I'd like to see that you also give us feedback, to give feedback to the people who are making the standards, uh, where you see them around. Remember that you can you know, give feedback in lots of different ways to WTC, you can uh, join mailing lists and email working groups, and uh, it's good for you as you learn about the new version of a standard and you think, ah, yeah, darn, I wish it, why, why didn't it have this feature? Or why didn't that API, what, why wasn't it implemented in that way? Well, maybe nobody thought of it. Maybe they haven't, or maybe they didn't realize how important it is to you. So do give us feedback. Uh, do give feedback to the people who uh, are working all those working groups. Uh, there are lots of them. They're all the work that they do, of course, like the work that you do when you make your website, when you make your web application uh, using standards, you're keeping the web open. You're keeping it open uh, as a place where you don't have to buy a particular device to participate. You don't have to use a particular operating system to participate. You don't have to use a browser from a particular browser company, company to participate. This has always been a, a battle, keeping it open. This conference is part of it. You are part of it, keeping it open uh, by using the open standards, keeping it one web. So with that, uh, I just uh, will get out of your way uh, and just say great fun at this first W3 conference.